Hello, good evening, and I'm probably just uh, uh, streamed uh, and played double music, so I'm sorry for that, <laughs> because I didn't notice that um, the stream is open in other place. Let me just uh, open the game and say good evening to you. Hope you see and hear me well. Uh, let me just move stuff around because apparently I'm missing some. Um, yeah, this is all right. T. And this goes here. And now we enter the music. Pretty quiet, actually. I hope you hear it all okay. Good evening! This is Midonius, and thank you, Mega Pyman, for the first uh, part of the. Puzzle Agent, this is the number two. If you want to avoid spoilers, leave now or be with them. Um, hello, everybody in chat. Hello, Centauri. Hello, hello Alfredor. Uh, Madeche, Digro, Centauri, of course. I know I did not learn any Dutch yet. Uh, it's a hard language to learn, so I'm, I'm really sorry. Of course, Sharon, Redak, um, Resenshu, hello, good evening. And uh, who else is in chat? Sorry, uh, Night Wolf, of course. That's kind of um, Dorfkin. Yay, Cutie, of course. The Cutie, um, uh, could they miss? Metal Addict, of course. G Pudding, uh, if you are here, um, yeah, so I'm here. Uh, yay, Ika is here also. Just say hello, hello, yeah. Uh, I will start learning Dutch probably, I think, by the end of the next month, officially, in the classes. But probably I will start doing some basic stuff right before, uh, I don't know when, maybe after I will settle up and, and be in here. Um, Inquisitor of Aquilane. Welcome. I'm really, really, really sorry for the shitty sound that I'm sounding right now because my mic broke during my move and I it seems like I can't boot it up uh, in any way. So for now I'm just talking to my webcam and this is my webcam mic and it's crappy, I know, I'm sorry. But we will... Um, I will get a new one. I already looked in a couple of them and uh, hopefully when I get all my cards here and all that stuff, I'll get one other one and then I will be heard much more properly. Um, yes, I, I need to how to order beer, ask where the bathroom is and order drugs, says Alpador. Sure. Actually, uh, people are speaking English quite well here, so there is like no problem at all in terms of uh, um, understanding and, and talking to people. Um, cool. So I want to see this actually a bit further away. I'm sorry. I I'm doing this couple of final adjustments. Okay. So yeah, puzzle agent. I'm going blind. I just saw Mega Pyman stream uh, in terms of. Uh, what is the game about and how the game looks like? I, it is a release stream. It's now released on on GOG.com with a bunch of other um, older Telltale games. So I really, really hope uh, you will enjoy that. Um, yeah, and um, I probably will uh, be slower in solving puzzles because. Uh, this was my first week in a new place and I am overwhelmed with information and uh, yeah, it's my brain is so full that oh my god, yes, I do speak English at work, uh, that is for sure a fact, otherwise we just wouldn't be able to uh, understand each other. And yeah, I moved to Rotterdam actually, uh, for people who don't know yet. Mm. LFTG, and now I'm here in Rotterdam. Rotterdam, if I think that should say like this. Okay, that's it. I'm going to the game. I hope my sounds are okay. Hear the the game, uh, and you hear me. All right. So 
let's just start the game. Hello, figure to Sweden. Hello, Summer B76. Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second, I thought I saw. Just saw gnome. That was like where the pie ended. Come on, people. <laughs> Nightwolf says I pronounce Rotterdam, Rotterdam, perfectly. Uh, yeah, it's it's really hard to understand Dutch people because they are pronouncing G and R in the H and R sounds. So yeah. Um, hello, Jupiter. I'm very very well. I have tons of information in my head and. Probably I will be having some difficulties in solving these puzzles right now uh, because I saw they are somewhat um, difficult, but yeah, uh, that's cool. Um, Hindle Place has found things at New Place. I saw the Mass Effect mural, very impressive. Uh, I did hear about the ADSL connection though and uh, possibility of fiber. Yeah, I have a, a Mass Effect uh, mural. Uh, it's basically all of the Mass Effect characters are painting on my on the wall in front of me on the house. So someone did that in their yard. So that's pretty cool. I just posted that I think first day after I arrived in in, in here in Rotterdam. Um, and yeah, I'm using currently ADSL. Uh, I have I think maybe tops of 50 megabits per second. And I think I have somewhat, probably like five upload. So I'm still able to stream. I have the all right connection. Um, my home doesn't have fiber yet, but it is a possibility to get fiber into some homes. So that's not a huge problem. Uh, yeah, and uh, probably we will uh, meet uh, with Centuria and I because they're local uh, at some time so yes uh, you know what uh, no i can't change it mm. okay let's uh moon focus uh i don't know which kind of adsl so no i have to tell it too actually uh i don't know which dsl i'm so far away from dsl technologies like i had that years ago and right now it's they're back i'm back with it um Cool, so moon focus. Can Nelson see the unique details of the moon? Rotate the rings of the scope until each ring is locked in place and each column of symbols contains no duplicates. Which is actually pretty interesting because uh, we're straight jumping straight into the puzzle. And right, so as I see, basically all the general mechanics of the game are still the same. So um, Probably I would say that this is a continuation of uh, the previous game, of the first game. So yeah, let's see. We should not have any duplicates in any place. And I just sold it. Such an easy um, introduction. And people spent $97,000 for that. I'm so expensive. <laughs> Yes, if you would like to visit Netherlands, uh, sure. Give me, uh, give me a hint. We'll have a beer together. Why is there a hidden person on the moon? Is this a figment of Nelson's imagination? Is he tripping already? Ooh. <laughs> Eraser factory is back open even though foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The bureau's marking this case officially closed. Wow. 
What? Ingram? Oh, hi, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. Ah. So apparently the previous game kind of solves the Eraser Factory problem and it's opened again, but the foreman is missing. It's still missing. So hopefully uh, you can find him in uh, in this game currently. So yeah, we'll see that. Um, yeah, and this is a very, very nice office. I love it. He has this interesting portrait with a puzzle instead of his brain. Whee! Cool, so yeah, let's talk to him about uh, vegetable crimes. What the hell? How are things going in vegetable crimes? The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers. We haven't had a real case since the Taro murders back in 76. What I wouldn't give to see some field action like you did. Puzzle division. Wow. Wait, what? Vegetable crimes? What the hell is that? Jim, puzzle division isn't that exciting. Come on, Nelson. You were out of the office a whole week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's interesting. Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, crack that case wide open. Ah. And we got the follower, Septemius1, as just followed. Uh, for which I... I'm sorry, a bit... Uh, yeah, thank you very much. And welcome to our crazy DOG family. It, to be honest, it has been a while since the last time I said... Uh, welcome to a follower! Yeah, and that's awesome. Um, Cool. I just I just want to open my other laptop because I'm still not used to seeing like tons of information on one screen, uh, which is a bit uh, difficult. So hopefully I will be uh, better for this. And let me just turn off one thing. Um, not to. Yep. And it's, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm still a, a bit sometimes underprepared because now I have to find my way in this schedule. So uh, trespassing. Why is he trespassing? So. What are you doing in my office? Check it out! I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Four yeah, dragons? About that. Holy moly. Four dragons. Can you solve this four dragon puzzle designed by puzzle master Hanji Monosaki? What is the next number in the sequence? Uh, three? This is so expensive, oh my god. Yay! I hope these are... Uh, yeah, no, I will not say anything. You see here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry, you almost. Hey, Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. I'm going to be taking some time off, and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. It, you're just... No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through vegetable crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, yeah Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. The mystery land. The bureau's marking this case officially closed. But I can't leave it like this. The factory form is still missing. Has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. 
It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I've found Isaac Downer and gotten to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. Such a dedication. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, mad skills. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. <laughs> I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Well, you know what? I love the style. Seriously, it's it's so um, interesting. Like they have, um, you know, you have the characters are painted by hand, and these all the surroundings and environments are actually done in more um, like uh, beautiful way, or not beautiful, but actually in more correct way or more more uh, stand up way. Will uh, I chew a gum? No, I will not chew a gum. I probably I will not be able to think when chewing the gum. Uh, by the way, someone just uh, posted a link about uh, the upcoming segment where you can uh, post your game, five games, five games, and uh, we will choose uh, the streamer and uh, the game from those five. Uh, to stream on one of the new segments in our upcoming um, schedule. Um, let me just see uh, how much is written in there. Um, yeah, so it's called Viewer's Choice. And uh, there will be yeah a segment, two hour segment in our upcoming schedule where we will be playing whatever you choose. So. You can post your own games, you can collaborate with other uh, viewers, with other users and cr come up with some crazy plan on who has to stream what. And yeah, so we give you a choice. Uh, we give you a choice to torture us or just uh, to pick up a very interesting game. Um, on which day will the viewer's choice be? I don't. I don't know if I can actually announce that yet. Um, so uh, I don't know if anyone from our uh, streamers can tell me that I can announce that yet. I can, but probably um, uh, it will be announced next week uh, or on the weekend. Um, but let me see. Yeah, uh, sorry, I, I will have to check up in a, in a different way. They are in the forum, if anyone can post a link again uh, where to put those games, uh, that would be very awesome. Oh, the whole new schedule is up. Seriously. Did I miss that already? I might have missed that. Oh yeah, awesome. So yeah, um, where is that? So viewers' choice will be on Thursdays. On Thursdays at 4 p.m. GMT or 6 p.m. CEST. Uh, okay, so uh, I will just uh, talk more a bit about our new schedule. So our new schedule is uh, yeah. I missed that it was posted. Uh, either no one posted, but anyways. Um, yeah, so we created a new schedule for you guys uh, because a lot of you wanted to have some um, stable slots and to know when actually things are happening. So there it is. Uh, our schedule is fixed right now in terms of uh, what will be streamed uh, and when. Um, we created these uh, shows. So basically everyone has his own show one or two or whatever, or we have also places where to switch. And we're doing a theme 
or something like that. And my theme is uh, puzzle games basically. And my show is called Brain Freezer. Uh, that should be Brain for 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 Freezer. Um, yeah, and I will be doing the Monday slots on um, 8 p.m. GMT. Yep. 8 p.m. GMT right after Outstars GOG Giants. So I hope uh, this will be much, much better for you guys because you will be able to um, see the same type of games, at least the same theme of games, in terms of uh, uh, time and when they will be streamed. So, yeah, uh, we will probably be the same people on the same slots. Not always. Uh, we are human and we have our lives and we have to, to switch sometimes. So, yeah, we will switch in those slots, but the slots will be stable enough and they will be, um, you know, same theme. Uh, probably they will have an ending, of course. Uh, they It will not be like for a year, for sure, because in, in some themes, for example, you don't have any games for, for a year. Um, so they will be switched. Uh, into new ones, or you know, if people will get bored by that, so they will be switching to new ones. But uh, yeah, so starting on uh, Monday, there will be new stuff going on. So I hope you people will enjoy that, and please do write some stuff in the viewers' choice because you are deciding what we will stream. So you can even pick horror games. Or jump scare games. Okay, back to the game. I'm collecting this stuff, which I don't know what is. Uh, does he have it in that room? Yes, this stuff. Okay, let's see. Um, so these are all my puzzles. Holy crap, that's a lot of puzzles. We have a journal. With the previous case notes. Oh, this will contain spoilers. Alright. It's gum. What the hell the gum is for? Okay, so basically probably we'll have to get back at some point. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go check in in the inn. Mr. Agent Tethers. <laughs> you uh, seem surprised. Very much. I kind of miss the wooden gnome collection, Miss Garrett. Made the whole place seem creepier. <laughs> yeah, this game is creepy. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the Eraser Factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Huh. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh, my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. <laughs> it's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm, I'll be on the lookout for it. Yes, we will eat used gum mmm very tasty um durbin said he would like some earlier streams uh which time zone are you in actually because we have some i don't know early or late streams but uh without the time zone i kind of don't know um what to say in this case holy crap all right uh, so Isaac Donner. Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Davner. Who? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, 
I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. You're hiding something. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. They are hiding something so much. They are hiding something so much. EST. Uh... Okay. I can't arrest her because I don't know what the hell is I going on. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Ooh, hot well, dish. have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. I don't want... Yeah. I don't think I want to see her whipping up... Uh, when I'm having a seat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, Heimdall posted on the forum for five games. Cool! I saw there were already three pages of that, so... Yeah, thank you very much and keep posting because... You know, we will select from that list all the time, so... You know, you can just keep, keep on posting new ideas and, and new... Uh, um, games for us to play because you know that slot is yours so whatever you want to see there uh, for sure please do post that and we'll just you know pick between the streamers who um, would like to stream that game and who would fit the game um, yeah and we'll go for that oh by the way um, today I will do two raffles uh, because the last time we were out of 999 codes so today I will raffle out two and the first one will be probably somewhat around 15 minutes more in the game. So stay tuned here for more. Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, this is terrible. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Oh yeah. Lots of, you know, oh, yeah. tourists. Here for the snow and uh, erasers. Look, you can see here for yourself. What are you talking about, yeah? No place, yeah. Martha claims she has booked all of the rooms in the inn. Can you figure out the assignments that will satisfy everyone's requests and spare room for Nelson to stay in? But all right, puzzle rules. There are six rooms at end, three on each floor. I actually had... Yeah, I'll have some paper. There are six rooms at end, three on each floor. The guest's requests are Mr. Maxwell insisted he stay on the floor above Miss Larue. And Larue. Miss Dimpleton, ooh, what a name, uh, will not stay on a floor with more men than women. Mr. Blesson and Mr. Carlman always get the rooms on the same floor. <sighs> okay. Holy crap. So, okay, Maxwell and LaRue. And uh, oh, wait. wrong button, wrong button, rules. Miss Dimpleton will not stay on the floor with more men than women. Oh, so probably we should do it like this. Maxwell above LaRue, Blesson and Carlman are the same floor, and Dimpleton will stay where there are more men. Yep, this should be it. Shit. 
shiny. Awesome. It looks like there's a room available. Hmm. Well, uh, isn't this yeah, embarrassing? That's a room available. Yeah. That room is being uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Skinny what? Ghosts? No, not ghosts. The the other thing. Bed bugs? Oh heavens no! Of course it's not bed bugs. It's uh, uh painters. The room's being fumigated <laughs> for painters? Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. Yeah, are you trying to tell me something, yeah? What the hell, no vacancies? Yeah, I want the bed. Yeah. Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett? Good, then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, there's a gun. Do I actually have to click everywhere just to. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I kind of miss the wooden gnome collection, Miss Garrett. Made the whole place seem creepier. <laughs> Nightwolf, Nightwolf could totally see me yell, nailed it. I will have to practice. Nailed it! No place, ya. Yeah. The backless is closed. Scoggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled and unwelcome. Tried to check into the hotel. Only to be told there were no vacancies. Unless the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide something. Just heard something from the alley behind the hotel. The alley where I saw one of those creatures. No. I'm going to investigate. Such a mystery. Such a creepy place. Um. Metal Addict wrote just a huge uh, note about the schedule, um, but I, I, I lost it, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I can find it anywhere. Mm. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Is the place being held up or something? I don't know, because she's like... She looks like she didn't sleep for tons of weeks, and she's just, yeah, we are out of space, yeah. We're not accepting you, yeah. That's totally creepy. It's just the door. <laughs> I fucking kidding me. How did I get the No No Arrest him? The noises in the alley turned out to be nothing more sinister than a back door to a warm room for the night. There has to be a reason Mrs. Garrett doesn't want anyone to know I'm staying here. But that oh, is a mystery for tomorrow. Holy crap. This is amazing. Um. Hmm. For a second, I thought I saw someone on the street below. Probably just my imagination. Probably. Yeah, probably was. Parcel thing, yeah, that's, that was the parcel thing. I don't know, that was a warm door. <gasps> I clicked on the bed, no. It's clear to click on the, the mysteries of Scoggins go deeper than the incident at the Eraser Factory. And I'm convinced I made the right choice to come back. Assuming, of course, I make it through the night. What 
the hell is this game about? <laughs> Holy crap. Huh? What do you mean does not exist? Are we chasing a ghost? Discover the secret message by placing the names of Scoggins missing residences in the order they disappeared, starting from the first to go missing. Holy crap! Uh. Uh So It's no good. Someone knows I'm in town because I've just received a note. Isaac Davner does not exist. I won't have any idea what that what means do? until I've gotten enough information to solve the puzzle on the other side. My first priority tomorrow is to take this note into town and find out what these names have in common. Oh, so what? I can't. I can't solve it. Hmm. Hello. More gum. Holy crap. Someone is missing. Flyers. Uh, crash of a black moon. Um, excuse me. Daryl, was it? Hang on, I'm bit. Yes, I saw hey, the that deep strike. It's a Dutch name, by the way. Special agent. I had a colleague. Puzzle research division. Yeah, well, I've got a missing person case for you guys to solve. The factory foreman? That's old news. I'm talking about my brother, Daryl. Daryl is missing? Ah. Wow. Could you tell me more about your brother's disappearance? We were out past Sassamy Woods a couple of days ago. Daryl split off on his own because he said we were in Barrelope country. Barrelope? Oh, they're real. Don't doubt it. A and he was what? scared of them. Scared? Nah, he went hunting for him. Haven't seen him since. What the fuck is Barrelope? Is there anything else you can tell me about Daryl? He's allergic to walnuts. What do you want to know? Not much to it, Mr. FBI. He went missing out past Sesame Woods, and somebody needs to go look for him. <laughs> yes, Nightpool. I will um, probably ask how the extra has to be pronounced, because the only place I heard that is um, The Witcher game, and it says extra. So, I don't know. Probably it's some revision, and that's it. Have you seen or heard from Isaac Davner since I left? Who? The foreman <laughs> of the Eraser Factory. Dude. He went missing after the factory shut down. Oh yeah, him. Yeah, figures. People here go missing all the time. So wow. So they. Hmm. Do you know anything about the hidden people? The what? My brother goes missing, and the FBI comes to ask me about forest gnomes. You don't believe in them? You should have come here earlier, when I was four years old and listened to bedtime stories. <laughs> wow. Wow. Where have you been putting up those flyers? I've been getting permission first. It's legal. Need any help? Sure. Federal tax dollars should work. Dykstra says Altarion. Altarion. All right, thank you, and welcome, by the way. Um, Daryl is passing out flyers in the neighborhood, but the flyer bandit is at large, and will steal them. He's just fighting spam, come on! 
Figure out where to place the sacks to charge them. To ensure 50 flyers reach the end of the path. Uh, ensure that exactly 50 flyers will make it to the other side of town. Other side of town? Each person will pick up one paper. At the fork in the road, Hawk will take the left path. And the bandit will steal the flyers from anyone who passes by him. The bandit is at one of three locations marked with a question mark, but nobody knows which one. Okay, okay, like Dykstra, like, damn, that sounds similar to Dyke, which is not a very nice word, as far as I know. <laughs> yes, he doesn't believe in underpants gnome, for some reason. Terrible, come on, they're like everywhere, you know, just running around with your underpants and stealing them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... So, I have to send 50, not 30, 50, and 2 can pass, uh, duh. Alphler that says that if it wasn't for Dykes, most of the Netherlands would be underwater, so kind of an important word. Okay. I will have to check the explanation of that word. The, um, hmm. So I have to send 15 here, alright. And in some location, there is this dude which wants to actually steal them. But probably. Hmm. No, that's not cool. That's not cool. For a levy? What is a levy? I don't know what a levy is. Sorry. Uh, for three. Six. So if he is here, then I'm okay. He's not up here. Oh, shit. Wait. Did I guess correctly? Nah. Noob. Try placing the same number of flyers in each of the bandits' known whereabouts. Hmm. Natural or artificial slope or wall to regulate water levels called levy in American English. Oh, thank you very much, Nightwolf. So, how, how can I put the same number of. That's 11. That's too much. 15, 12. Nah. Holy crap. 
I'll take a hint. Because, why not? Find a way to distribute the same number of flyers in locations where the band may strike. Ensure the 12 flyers are distributed to each of the bands known as robots. Okay, so yeah, so I was thinking about the 12. Uh, that's 4, that's wrong. That's 4. 12. No, uh, this is 15, this is too much. This is some serious puzzle. Uh, okay, I need 12 here. Wait, this makes... Okay, this makes 11. If I put here, it makes 12. Oh, this makes 13. This is okay. Oh, okay. Is it? I don't know! Okay, I spent... Holy crap, I spent 300,000! It's the borderline! Sheesh. There you go. That should get Darryl. everybody in town on the lookout for Daryl. I doubt it in this town. People disappear all the time in Scoggins. Nobody even notices anymore. What's there up with the disappearances? Other missing people? Plenty others. Even that researcher over at the campground had his buddy go missing just last week. Holy craps. Do you know where I could... He's got a trailer at the Wallows campground. Name's Alfred uh, something or other. Have fun, Mr. FBI. Try looking for my brother while you're at it. It sounds like Isaac Davner is just one of many missing people around Scoggins. The cases might all be related. I'm heading to the Wallows to ask a researcher there about his missing friend. <laughs> uh, and look for Daryl's brother, of course. <laughs> Awkward. Shishimaru, uh, basically, in this game, the factory is up and running, the razor factory is up and running, and uh, for some reason, the, uh, the Isaac uh, is missing, anyways, and he's not yet found. So, we're digging deep, and we're seeing that a lot more people are missing. How did I walk through the door, and I just... Okay, whatever. Uh, can I go up into my room? I want to go into my room. And right now we are understanding that a lot more people are missing. I can't sleep now. No, I don't want to sleep. I just want to see what's 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 up where. Ah, a hidden people lamp to stare at me all night while I sleep. Comforting. Gnome lamp. Ooh. I'll trace the sighting of a hidden people by arranging these photos in order. Uh, this was first. This was second. This was third. And this was fourth. Yes. You know what's, uh, what I'm missing from this game is to have the soundtrack actually in GOG. For now, we don't have that. 
Do, this has explanations also for for how you solve that if you Another puzzle didn't realize solved. that. I've been looking through these files for weeks, but I still can't see how everything is connected. Raffle time! Uh, raffle time. Okay, so let's uh, open the raffle. Let me just do it super, super quickly. Uh, unfortunately, the, um, the game pauses. Actually, I should pause that probably. When I uh, on tab out of it. So yeah, let's reset that. Open the raffle. Okay, so this is uh, the raffle is now open for uh, 999 code. This is the first one. I will give out the second one uh, later until the sometime in the mm, end of my stream. <laughs> Sorry, that kind of got out. Um, yeah. This is everything I've been able to uncover about Isaac Davner. I'm positive he's at the center of all this, but how? <laughs> so, you know what to do. You type exclamation mark, ruffle, and you might win a 999 code. This was a little bit of um, spoilers from the previous game. Okay, I think uh, we're clear right now. And here. Hi, Mrs. Yeah, I did. You had a good night. I did, actually. Thanks to a, a mysterious benefactor. Oh, it's not that mysterious. I'm sure she just. I mean. Whoever it was just hated the thought of you being out there in the dark and cold. <laughs> so she's alright now. Yeah? Of course spoilers, people. You're watching the second part without finishing the first game. Come on. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Gary, was anyone pressuring you to keep me from checking in? What? Oh, no. no! That business about the vacancies was just, um, er, uh, a clerical error. Oh, silly me. Well, okay. It's just that some people don't trust outsiders because they see this town as a family. A brotherhood of Skagans, if you will. <laughs> There's no reason to be inhospitable. Okay. Uh... Well, for you, it's 9.99 GOG code to have a game which is up to 9.99 from the base price. Yep, basically the same was as old time. So you still have time to type exclamation mark raffle, and you might win that. If you will miss this, there will be a second one. So you know, don't worry so much. Is there anyone else staying in the hotel? To be honest, no. Why do you ask? Somebody left a strange note under my door last night. Couldn't see who it was. Oh my, I was at the desk all night, and I didn't see or hear anyone come in or out. Yeah, you don't see anyone, yeah? Has anyone in town actually seen the hidden people? Agent Tethers, that's just crazy <laughs> talk. The only gnomes in Skagans are the little wooden ones. Speaking of that, what happened to your collection from the window? Oh, those? I sold them to that nice man Steve at the diner. Made a tidy profit, too. No, she sold the gnomes. Holy cow, that is so bad. Why did he do it, y'all? Hidden people. I like how they call gnomes the hidden people. That's Nobody's cool. ever mentioned actually seeing one of the hidden people. Oh, Agent Tethers, they're just stories people tell to make the long winters more interesting. Nobody really believes in that. Except that poor Bo Murphy, I guess. And Steve, over at the diner. Oh, and the Brotherhood, of course. What is this Brotherhood? Come on. Okay, time to... Um wrap up the raffle and I am closing it right now okay. 
It is closed. I'll draw an in here. Ooh. Ooh. So this is uh, the winner is Black Hat SG1. I will announce the winner in the chat. Congratulations. And I will just send you the code. Yeah, he is in the chat. Awesome. Awesome. Let me just uh, do that. Peace. And like this. So you will have to check your uh, other inbox probably because it might get posted there as it probably usually does. So where are the baffles? The baffles are here. Send to the codes, you should be uh, getting it somewhat right now. And we are talking about Bo Murphy. Congratulations! Have you seen Bo Murphy? The last time I saw him, he was in the alley talking to someone. I was hoping to ask him some questions about it. Bo Murphy? Well, I haven't seen him in. Oh my, how long has it been since I've seen him? Must have been around the time you were here last. That's been quite some Are time. Are you implying something? Mumbled something about going into the woods to finish a conversation. Haven't seen him since. Did I see much of the city yet? Uh, well, I saw the center part. I saw the market. I saw the bridge. I saw the skyscrapers. I didn't go to uh, Euromast. Um, I saw the first skyscraper in Europe, so I have been walking around, yes. Kind of. Did you file a missing persons report with the sheriff for Bo Murphy? Oh my, no. I didn't even realize he was gone until you mentioned it. Bo was always a little unusual, even before he started talking about the whispers. I'm sure he'll be back before you know it. I think that the whispers were not such a very hidden thing, right? Because for sure I heard whispers also. Which is super strange. I'm so can I get the hot dish? curious about that hot dish I've been hearing about. Oh, sorry, Agent Tethers. We really are out of the hot dish for real, I'm afraid. It's been a bad winter for Moose Meat, and the man who usually delivers the cilantro has gone mysteriously missing. Oh, so next will be Fleos. How oh, come? Oh, because I missed. Oh, okay. Yeah, so next will be Fleos with Jupiter uh, Game 2. And he will try to kick some ass. Um, sorry, Codrillion, that you missed uh, the raffle. There will be a second one, so can I? Or just you know, listen, listen. Um, so long, Mrs. Garrett. You stay safe out there. <sighs> so we're out of moose meat, and we'll not get a hot dish. Probably, I'm actually glad that we're not doing that. <laughs> Where should I go? Baldashan Campgrounds. Ah, okay, this is the only place I can go. 
Okie dokie. Well, speaking about the city, I will be. If the weather will be good, uh, probably I will be exploring more of it. For sure. Because I like the small city. It's a very nice. City. I like that the architecture. That fire pit hasn't been used since the last thaw. Assuming this place ever thaws. <laughs> oh, there is no thaw in here. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a researcher. You found one. I'm Special Agent Tethers with the FBI Puzzle Research Division, Doctor Verstecht. But that's my father's name. Call me Alfred. Verstecht. Logical research here in Scoggins. I'm a student of mankind. <laughs> I'm studying mankind. Someone in town said your friend had gone missing. Friend? Oh, yes. They must be talking about my graduate student, Will Medlock. Very bright young man. Disappeared. Oh, when was that? Two months ago? That was before the incident at the eraser factory. But no one mentioned it before. Can't say I'm surprised. Local law enforcement was no help. Yes, I I've met the local law enforcement. People here are more interested in puzzles than missing people. Ha! <laughs> puzzles are awesome. And thank you, uh, Nightwolf, very much for... Uh, The recommendations, I will definitely use that. I will definitely use that for sure. Give me a couple of weeks just to settle in and to get used to all the things around me and get my insurances, which is crazy in, in Netherlands. Like, they're crazy for insurance, for everything. You have to have the insurance for everything, seriously. And yeah, I will definitely go around and, and see some stuff. So, yep, yeah, he's studying uh, humans. So, the joke was, turn around, take your pants down, and bend. I will study you. Ha! Ha ha ha, they're so not funny. Is there anything you can tell me about this missing grad student, Will? Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if spending time in Scoggins was starting to have an effect on him. How do you mean? He became unfocused. Talked about nightmares and whispers. I didn't think much of it at the time. He walked away in the middle of one of my discussions about the transformative power of myth and legend. I thought he was just bored, but I never saw him again. That's strange. What is an anthropologist doing in Scoggins, Minnesota? Same thing an anthropologist does anywhere else. I'm studying people. The people of Scoggins? Is there enough to study? <laughs> oh my, yes. The shared reality made by the people and their folklore. I've been here for years, and I've just barely scratched the surface. Don't you get the sense that this is a town on the cusp of something big? Their folklore, their fascination with puzzles. It's as if the energy of thought is being transformed into solving one of the great problems of our age. What? This is strange. How long have you been here in Scoggins? Well, let's see, about 15 years? I'm on my 8th government grant. Wow, that's a lot. I wonder what he learned, actually. Do you know anything about the missing factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Ah, yes. Fascinating story, that. A real suburban myth in the making. To the people of Scoggins, he's the archetype of the martyr. The ritual sacrifice made as an attempt to assert control over capricious nature. Wait a second. Davner is not a myth. He's a real person. I've met him. Myths are real, Agent Tethers. <laughs> We're all characters playing roles. The hero in a quest for truth. The wise, mysterious sage who serves as his guide. Wise. Right. Is it? Oh, really, is it? Hangel says this game art style is still odd. Seeing this is an old telltale, they sure have gotten a lot better with Wolf Among Us. Yeah, they did. Well, this is really this uh, for sure. It stand, stands out of all the games with this art art style. But I like it. It's it feels you know rough, uh, kind of unfinished, kind of amateurish, like indie, right? But still, it's it's made in a very professional way. But I don't know. For some reason, it's uh, I like it. 
Sure. You must know something about the local stories about gnomes. The hidden people? Well, of course. They're the ones who brought me here in the first place. I'm studying the myth and worship of the hidden people. Oh, yeah. then you've dealt with that cult, the Brotherhood of Scoggins. Oh my, yes. Frightfully mad, all of them. Be careful, Agent Tethers. What? Their devotion to the hidden people makes them extremely driven and extremely dangerous. Thanks okay. for your time, Alfred. If you hear any more about Isaac Dabner or your missing friend, please let me know. I've just spoken with a mild-mannered but extremely driven agent from the FBI. <laughs> he was looking for information about the hidden people and the rash of disappearances in the area, including young Wills. Of course, if he's investigating a missing persons case, he'd best talk to Sheriff Bogg. The sheriff may not be helpful, but he is the one man in town with information about all the missing residents. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> You know, the art style is unique and strange, but still, you know, Telltale with, uh, with their humor and, you know, the fun and the way they're actually telling the story is, is amazing. I still have to play The Wolf Among Us uh, in full, full, full game. Uh, I didn't play um, Game of Thrones game also, uh, and The Walking Dead also. I just tried it a little bit, so I really love that, but yeah. It's uh... <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, okay, we're going to the sheriff. Did you were? You were not a problem. No problem. <laughs> My record recording part is amazing. Yeah, no sheriff in town. I'm finally desperate enough to visit Sheriff Boggs' office, but he's already working against me. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. Moose Ear Diner. Nice. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. All right, all right. I know that already, man. I just wanted to click and to see where I can. What can I do? Oh, I totally will, Kitty. <laughs> I st it's still so strange to call you that. <laughs> yeah, well, we had a fun time in the Unreal Tournament. That was that was amazing. Thank you, by the way, guys, for joining us. Um. Yeah, I will play the the Wolf Among Us. I know it's sharp. Ooh, there's a puzzle. Daryl's disappearance has got to be tied into all of this somehow. Between the five generators, power all devices using every available power outlet. Generators will evenly split power if used twice. Each device must be powered exactly to their power needs. Oh. Oh no, another counting game. Please. Okay. Mm. And so wait, we have uh, 90, 130. Um, yeah, it's the same amount. Okay, so we give this 15, because it needs 15, uh, it needs 15 also, we have 30. Oh, we can actually split this into 5. Holy crap.
Yeah, probably there's confusion for the tapes will be for his uh, vegetable division friend. So if I give it 25, what it needs is only 15, correct? Yes. This needs 15, okay. So if I give this 25, it needs only 5. So this is done, this is done. Yeah, this one is similar with the first from, from with the birds. Yeah, I saw that. I saw five playing that. Um, we okay. We have fifteen. So we can give him thirty. I think I got something, something underpowered. No. Just, uh, and twenty five. Forty five. This got twenty five and five thirty. This got twenty five and fifteen. Uh, yeah, we should go. Should be all right. We're just cracking! Yeah. Cracking! And the power of it! Okay. Hello! He's still stressed! Dude. Um. The place just isn't the same without the Daryls. Boxing up insects and being generally annoying. <laughs> so let's talk to the sheriff probably first, right? Or maybe. Yeah, as you Hello, the sheriff. sheriff Bog. Agent Heathers, what are you doing back in town? We got everything under control and we don't need the FBI poking its. Calm oh. down, Sheriff. I'm just here on personal leave. For sure, he's so annoying. Well, I keep my eye on tourists just the same as FBI agents. La la. Um. When I filed my report with the bureau, I left out the part about you holding me at gunpoint. Come on, Tethers. I don't know how you boys do things in Washington, but out here, sometimes a man's got to do what he's got to do, even if it means drawing a gun on a fella. What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I hope you've started to take Bjorn's cult seriously. I'm convinced they're behind the disappearance of Isaac Davner. What? That's crazy. The Brotherhood of Scoggins are valued members of this community. I'm not going to let them be harassed by anybody, FBI or no. They are serious. They are very, very serious. Isaac Dabner is only one of the people to go missing around Scoggins. What can you tell me about the other disappearances? What can I tell you? Nothing. Sure, I got files on all the so-called missing persons. And I don't have to show them to any FBI man, especially one who's not here on official business. Oh, he's... Oh my god, he's so annoying. I believe the hidden people have something to do with the incident at the factory. Agent Taylor, please. Just because we don't live in some fancy city doesn't mean you can treat us like gullible yokels. <laughs> yeah. You are no help, Sheriff. None You've been at all, just man. as helpful as always, Sheriff Bog. Glad to be a service agent, Chathers. Enjoy your time in our town and behave yourself. Agent Tethers. Ah! We need to talk outside. 
Hello. Who are you? What did you need to talk about, Mrs. Davner? It's about Isaac. He's not back yet. He's supposed to Another be Another missing person. Holy moly. I warn you, Glory, that attacking an FBI agent with a chainsaw is a federal offense. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just, you were going to stop the Brotherhood. I couldn't let you. Isaac needed to finish his journey. Isaac needed to finish his journey? Whoa. Yeah. This game is... You know the pie... Pie Man said, this game looks all fun and puzzles and, and uh, interesting, but in the end it's so freaking creepy. I don't know what to think about that. You know, hidden people? Why are you worried about Isaac now? You're the one who helped the hidden, helped them take him. You don't understand. It was the only way to save him. Save him? Bro, who? Isaac was troubled. For what? The Brotherhood offered us a way to cure him. This goes in a way that I don't like. How are the brothers Especially not in this game. Cure Isaac. Some kind of spiritual thing, I guess. Neither of us really understood it, but we were desperate. Okay. Okay. Do you have any idea where the hidden people would have taken Isaac? The hidden people aren't real. But I saw them taking Isaac away. It's the Brotherhood. They lied. So who took him? Girl! Come on! So the hidden people took him away. You saw him took them away. And you're now seeing that they're not hidden people? This is the Brotherhood? Ah! What the hell? Christ. What do you mean when you say the Brotherhood lied? Bjorn talked about finding peace by communing with forest spirits. I thought it was a... what's the word? A metaphor? No, a croc. But we try anything, and now Isaac's missing. In the lodge, I saw a photo of you and Isaac with the rest of the Brotherhood. They said they could help us, help Isaac. But they've been taking people. They took Isaac. It's all my fault. They took Isaac? Have you told the sheriff? The sheriff knows. He's working with them. So that's why he is such an asshole. Look, um, Glory, I'd like to stay and talk, but... You've got to get the missing person files. I, uh, that's actually a good idea. I'll make sure Sheriff Bog stays in the diner. Find out anything you can about Isaac. Oh, that's a plot twist. I finally got some help, more or less, in finding Isaac Davner. His wife, Glory, believes that the local cult is behind all the missing person cases in Scoggins. I'm going back to the sheriff's office to find out exactly what he's hiding in his files. Oh, Mr. Scroffman, you've been there the whole time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, guys, this is... You know who it is. You know who it is. Um, that conversation between Glory and me was strictly confidential, you know. It's Mr. Scroffy! I know you like Isaac out of the way, but I'm going to find him. If you say so. <laughs> nice. Uh, I can't go back? Oh no! But I wanted to talk with the troubled person. Well, it seems we're going to the sheriff's office. Alright. No, no one's there, man. Just don't knock. The station is locked tight. It looks like the sheriff's interest in puzzles extends to office security. Oh, really? Oh. 
Oh, that's a puzzle. The one cut remove all the obstructions to break down the sheriff's office door. Uh, you know, right now I'm wondering how much time does it take to actually open this door with all the keys? It has one, two, three, four, five chains. One, two, three. Oh no, it has more chains. Five, six, seven, eight chains. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pieces of wood. Oh, so wait, I have to find one cut. No. How can I do it in one cut? Okay, there aren't many padlocks, of course. There are no padlocks, actually. So I have no idea how it gets into his office. Maybe he's one of the hidden people and, you know, or aliens, or he's the astronaut, or whatever the hell. Oh, you're rolling. I wonder, like, what do I have to cut? Do I have to cut... Okay, so if I cut through chains, then they will release, and they will be not the obstruction, right? So, I also have to cut through the planks. Or, if I cut through planks, so I don't have to cut through the chain? At least the ones which are like hanging like this. So if I cut the plank off, they're kind of whatevs. So I would say it like this. Because this cuts through this and this and this. So these are off, this plank is off, whatever, this is off, this is a whole long off, this long off. So this one stays, but then this plank is cut off. I would go with this one. Da -da 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 -da. Now I have nailed it! Yes! This is the place to say that. <laughs> Change on the door are dependent on the wood planks and won't hold the planks removed. Yes! Aha! Uh -huh. Get inside! Those missing persons Yes, uh, I hope puzzles are my thing. Actually, I'm, it's it's a very nice um, intro into my Monday part where I will play. I probably can't say what I will play. I'll play the ball. I will start with easy stuff. Um, I definitely have the incredible machine in my plants, but for the starts, I will I will try to go with the, this a bit less. Um, 
known game, I would say, and it looks very interesting. So I will try with this, and we will see. We will go from there. You know, start easy, not to rush anywhere. I have to go with a big bang straight away. Cool. Uh, help us all to get the other side of the room and see. But it's dark. You just go and it's dark. Come on, man. Grab the office furniture around to block the light sources and create a safe path for Nelson to walk through. Let's try to move this stuff around. Uh. Hmm. So this is the cabinet here, and this is where I have to go. But... So I'm, I should move this one to here, then to block this window. This one doesn't matter, it can be stayed like this, and then this like this, so it will be a clear path. Holy crap, how should I move it there then? This was easy. I don't know, I, I don't have anything to do here. Oh, I didn't use a night shift. I don't know, I'm just like slicing through that. Like a boss. Wow, that's a mess. Hello, Agent Tethers. Cripes! Sheriff Bog! How long have you been standing? Randall Scruffman told me you might be paying my office a visit. I'm sorry, it's just... I really needed to see how bad this missing person problem is. Everything how did I you got about missing get people in, is in those files. Uh, thanks. This gutter did. Gutter did. Do we have anything around? I wonder if the rest of the Scoggins police force is as competent as Sheriff Bog. Probably not so much. I might guess. You know? Did Glory Davner ever tell you she suspected the Brotherhood of being involved in the disappearances? Yes. <laughs> Glory's a confused young lady. The Brotherhood helps people. Whether it's with personal troubles or with what the fancy doctors call an addiction to puzzles. She told me that you're working with the Brotherhood. Rumors. Unprovable rumors. You just find what you need in those files and then be on your way. Well, you know, I can't argue with you. You look with like a no. respect, Sheriff, these files aren't exactly comprehensive. There are no dates. What's in the files is everything I got, Tethers. Jesus Christ, man, you're such an ass! You're no hub, how can you be a sheriff of this town? You're a disgrace! Oh, you're so bad, man. 
Discover the secret message by placing the info of Scoggins missing residences and all that they disappeared. Start to prune the first to go missing. Uh Okay. Isaac was the last to be kidnapped before Daryl was kidnapped last. So Isaac Daryl Haldor and Will were kidnapped before Ted. So it's Ted. Haldor Will. Ted was not kidnapped fourth. Not or Will was not kidnapped first. Not first. Wish me luck. I don't know whether that was intentional, but for a moment there you sounded like Doctor Strange Love. I will have to go with that because I heard about Dr. Strange's love, but I don't know how he actually sounds. So that was not intentional. Uh, okay, that was not fourth, but Daryl. So Daryl was last, right? Then was Isaac. One, two, three, four. So maybe it's Ted, uh, Alder, Will, and Barney? No, that doesn't make any sense. That third party. It also doesn't make any sense. Hmm. So, Daryl was last, but that's okay. Isaac was before Daryl. But Ted was not fourth. Some shares are voted in the office in, in the US. Whoa, okay. I didn't know that. That's kind of sad. There was someone who had two people before him and wasn't fourth, wasn't there? That, yeah. Mm, it's a movie. That's kind of says it's a movie where Peter Sell is playing three different roles. One of them will be a pony who's pretty scientist of the strange. Yeah, I, I, I really heard about him. Uh, I just don't recall, like in general, uh, uh, what was that about? Discover the secret message by placing the names of Scoggins' missing residences in the order they disappeared, starting from the first to go missing. So that's a secret message, okay. Uh, let's see. No, this, this doesn't make sense. This might make sense. Third. Oh. But this doesn't make sense because... Oh! Holy shit. I just messed this up. Will was not first. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I was thinking that Ted was before Will and Haldor. So, yeah. Tether. Dot. Tear. Doesn't make any sense.
but it kind of like represents the rules, right? That is after Haldor and Will, and there's the, the amount of letters, which is also a correct thing. Um, but that is not fourth, so that's correct. And Will is not first, first, and Isaac is before Daryl, and Daryl is the last. So I don't know. Let's hope it's okay. Spells a name? Teeter Dotter. Did you say Teeter Dotter? Uh, maybe. Hmm, that's probably Melkorka Teeter Dotter. And he is oh, that's actually a name. Herself. Nobody in town really knows her. Is she one of the missing people? Missing? No, I can't say anyone would miss her. She lives in the old Teeterson house over on the west side of town, near Valda's Inn. Then I'd better find out what she knows about all these disappearances. Putting my furniture back in order and fix the lock on your way out, Tethers. No, I will not. You're a terrible man. Korka's house. We're going to Korka's house. That's not a bad house. Is that the Eraser Factory? At least the Eraser Factory is up and running again. Scoggins only exports are erasers and weirdness. Puzzles also. And don't forget the puzzles. Mm. Okay, uh, I will start another raffle. So, people please stay <laughs> and be in the raffle. I will keep it for probably like 10 minutes or maybe 15. Open the raffle. And yep, you can uh, again type exclamation mark raffle to win a 9.99 code. Uh, which basically you should thank Atukana because uh, last time I was raffling we were out of 9.99 codes. And uh, yeah. Uh, This is the second one that they didn't do it. Yeah, so anyone who is out, come back and Assuming Sheriff Bog up. wasn't sending me on another wild goose chase, I've arrived at the house of the mysterious Melkorka. Melkorka. I'm still not sure how she ties into the disappearances, but she's the only lead I've got. According to the Sheriff's description, she sounds like a recluse. Probably the town's resident gossipy spinster. Ooh la la! Please have a normal face. Good ah. evening, Agent Tethers. I see you found my note. Hi. Oh. Quickly, come inside before they see us. Yes. I come inside you. I see you're a puzzle fan, Miss Teeter Daughter. I dabble. Keeps the brain sharp. And my friends call me Korka. I would hope you're a friend, Agent Tethers. Korka. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Or a crossword? Give me a crossword. Just the facts, ma'am. Hello, Korka. I would gladly solve all of your puzzles. You mentioned a note. Are you the one who slipped a note with a puzzle under my door? Forgive the theatrics, Agent Heathers. I knew your reputation, but I had to be sure you had what it takes. Ooh la la! So, he found our astronaut. Oh god! What? Why would you like even... <sighs> the theatrics. The theatrics. <laughs> yes, she said quickly come inside. 
Your puzzle had a list of all the missing people in Scoggins for over a decade. I've been keeping track. Somebody has to. There's a name I didn't recognize. Halder Magnuson. Haldor. He was my partner. Business partner? Eight years ago, he went into the woods. Never came back. Aww. Oh, 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 oh. He was a partner. He was my partner, Haldor. You are sounding like a northern person. What does this mean? Isaac Davner does not exist. Finally, you're asking the right questions. The raffle is still on, people. So, if your chat broke, just type uh, exclamation mark raffle and uh oh test pilot ed davis but that's that's isaac davner and look at the date of that article 16 years ago and that's just a few weeks before the date of the first missing persons case exactly oh i thought she was inviting me into that room damn Damn. How are the hidden people tied into all this? Seriously, Agent Heathers? Maybe I misjudged you. Are you here to investigate a crime? No. Or to chase after forest gnomes, like those gullible fools in the Brotherhood cult. I might check under your dress. Maybe they are there. None of this explains how Bjorn and his Brotherhood cult is involved. Think clearly, Nelson. That lodge has been a part of the town for decades. The disappearances started only 16 years ago. There is only one explanation. Ed Davis, your Isaac Davner, is a serial murderer. But the hidden people! I saw them take Isaac away! Smokescreen. Davner disappeared just as you were getting too close. You're the only one who can find him and stop him. So you're calling me crazy and then you're saying that I can find him and stop him. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I need some gum. Let me see your map. I have marked approximately where in the woods Halto disappeared. Once the FBI showed up, Ed Davis ran back into hiding. But you want to find Isaac Davner? Head back to the scene of his crimes. All right, I'll do it. Someone has got to investigate. Don't go. Back whenever you find something, Nelson. I'll be up. No. I can stay up all night. No, she can stay up all night. Stay here, dude. Well then. What the f are you going there? <laughs> Yeah. Come back there. No, they come home. And she had so many puzzles. <laughs> no, I saw this. I don't want to see the factory. Please get me. Let well, me get back in the house. Factories up and running no. again. Scoggins' only exports are erasers and weirdness. Holy crap. Yeah, so there's still raffle going on. Please uh, join it if you want to win 999 code. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's still going on. And I will probably close it in a couple of minutes. So if you're still on, just join it. If you want, of course, no pressure. Join it. I've arrived at the point Corka marked on my map. No signs yet of anyone here. Ooh, footprints. Is there someone?
Unfortunately, that gum actually doesn't look like gum. It looks like some other not, not very good thing. Who is that? that? That's Edvard, one of the members of the Brotherhood cult. Got to find out what he's... <laughs> Oh my god, this animation. <laughs> it's a puzzle. Okay. Help Nelson navigate a path through the woods to Edward by arranging sections of the forest. Make sure there is a complete path from Nelson to Edward. All pieces must be placed when submitting. Okie dokie. So, okay, I am closing the raffle and... Uh, I am drawing a winner, which is Mr. or Mrs. or Miss or Mr. Karth. Mr. Karth, let us say, announce the winner in the chat. And I'm not seeing my own stream, so I might be, you know. Uh, saying stuff before, after I announced that, but let me just send you the code right now. And congratulations and were you in chat? For sure you were following. Um... Yes, you're here. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce and corn. Congrats. Congratulations with winning a 999 code and I'll fill everything else later. Yep, so enjoy. Cards. Yeah. Right, so let's solve it. Ooh. Oh. So this is basically we have to build a maze, right? Nothing is working here. Yeah. Maybe this one? No. No. Uh, okay, then, okay. So we have to. Oh, that's the dead end. That's the dead end also. Hmm. This is a dead end. This might work. Uh, not. Not so much. This one. Oh. This might work. Yeah, but this blocks the end trends. Mm. Ah, mysterious saxophone, that's uh, where we usually are raffling the duty codes. And yeah, this was the 999 code. Um, I think in some places this game is not regionally priced, so you can get it for 999. Uh, I saw at least in the Netherlands it was regionally priced, so it costs uh, 11 point something something USD. Which is not covered by this code, unfortunately, for now. 
Um, right. I'm doing something not okay here. No, this is definitely not a good starting point. This is not a good starting point. So the the white one can be good, and uh, the wood one can be good as a starting point. Uh, this one also crap. This one is mm, kind of doable actually. Ah uh, no, I can't. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, so the winter one, or yeah, the play will be a pain in the ass actually to to solve this. Okay, wait a minute. Mm. Uh, go here. And this will be blocked, anyways. Uh, this will Locked anyways. I can do like this, but then this kind of blocks. This also blocks. This has no path. Um, this also blocks. Uh, this kind of doesn't block. I'll use a hit, whatever. Nelson will walk into each section of the forest at least once. Oh. And we start with the. Uh... Oh. oh, so he has to walk with it to each section once. Now it's kind of maybe makes sense. And uh, let's see, we're here, we can go here, then we're going to go. Something here. Uh. Oh crap, this is oh god. is Playoffs with uh, uh, Tiktokam 2, right? Do I remember correctly? Yes! Tiktokam 2! So you know what? I will just use a lot of things. Uh, yeah, more please. So the exit is the red one. One. I think I got it. I'm done. I'm done for today. That's it. That is it. Use three hands. 
Oof, oof, Asra. Oh my god. Oh my god. Righty then. Uh, why did the chat die? Where are you, chat? Ah, okay. Yeah, so. This is it, guys. Uh, let's just see the last scene, and I will end on this. Tomorrow, I will come back again. Uh, one time for GG channel, the second time for my own channel. Finally, uh, I have. Oof, I have a lot of beers to try here. Edvard gave me the slip, and now. I have no idea where I am. I'll have to find my way back to... Ooh, sh shiny. Sorry. Okay, yeah, so this is... <laughs> um, God damn it. So tomorrow I'll be back on uh, 4 p.m. GMT or 12 p.m. EBT. Or 9 a.m. PDT. Oh my god, that's so early in the morning. Uh, I will be playing Darksiders 2. I will continue actually my Darksiders 2 uh, playthrough because it's again on the weekend promo. Um, and then I will be also back on my channel doing uh, beer, beer, and banter, of course. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me. I really enjoyed this uh, Puzzle Agent 2. Um, probably I will play it more. Maybe not now, but, but uh, at some time later. Um, yes, and this will be a dramatic cliffhanger. And it's probably somewhere in the middle of the game, actually, to, to finish this one. So this is awesome. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, Puzzle Agent 2 also. Um, they are newly all released on GOG.com and um, yep, you definitely should get them if you like a little bit of thinking and a little bit of very fun puzzle games. Mm, I definitely enjoyed that and this was fun. So yeah, and it was like, yeah, because a lot of people disappeared for some reason, or for no reason. So I let on Leos with uh, you can have two, hopefully. Maybe I hope that he did not change the game, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!